Hello ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the most important questions of first week of January 2020 now this time we are covering questions till 1st of January to 10th of January because a lot of people are having exam on 19th of January so it is going to be very beneficial for them so now let's start which fighter aircraft that retired recently is also known as bahadur right answer is mig 27 so indian air force recently retired mig 27 fleet this fighter aircraft was developed by soviet union and in india it was manufactured by hal and it is also known as bahadur now this aircraft is known for its role in various combats now if we talk about hal it is hindustan aeronautics limited the headquarter of hal is in bengaluru and it is under ministry of defense present defense minister is mr rajnath singh the government recently made aadhar linking for vay vandana yojana mandatory now the question is who are the beneficiaries under this vay vandana yojana right answer is senior citizens so this pradhan mantri vay vandana yojana is for senior citizens and it is a pension scheme for senior citizens it covers the citizens of age 60 years and above and recently the government made it mandatory for the beneficiaries to provide aadhar as identity proof under this scheme and that is why this scheme was in news who is the world's longest serving president recently in news when imf asked him to declare his assets before availing financial assistance right answer is theodoro basogo so mr theodoro basogo is the longest serving president in the world he is the president of equatorial guinea and he came to power in 1979 recently he was in news because imf had asked him to provide information about his assets as the country is going through economic crisis and the economy of equatorial guinea shrunk by almost one third Mauritius accused UK of committing crimes against humanity for refusing to allow people to return to their homes. This accusation is in reference to which island? Right answer is Chagos Island. So Chagos Islands are in Indian Ocean and Chagos Islands are disputed between UK and Mauritius. In fact, last year United Nations passed a resolution demanding that UK should transfer Chagos Islands to Mauritius. However, UK has refused to do so and therefore Mauritius government has accused the UK of committing crimes against humanity. Now, if we talk about Mauritius, the headquarters of IORA is also in Mauritius. IORA stands for Indian Ocean Rim Association and recently the Council of Ministers meeting of IORA held in UAE and during this conference UAE became the president for next two years and Bangladesh became the vice president for next 2 years iora has 22 member states if we talk about bangladesh the prime minister of bangladesh is ms sheikh hasina and recently india played its first day night test match against bangladesh japan recently announced a rare overseas mission to protect their merchant ships in which region right answer is gulf of oman the japanese government announced a rare overseas mission in the gulf of oman Northern Arabian Sea and Gulf of Aden. This mission is to collect information about the piracy in the region and the mission is to involve Japanese maritime self defense forces. Now, if we talk about Japan, Japan is going to be the host of 2020 Summer Olympic Games. Apart from that, Japan was also the host of G20 summit in 2019. In addition to that, Japan is also a member of G4 grouping. Now, answer in comment box what is the objective of this G4 grouping and is india a member of this grouping japan was also the host of p20 conference actually it is the conference of parliamentarians of g20 members and it is informally known as p20 so this year that means in 2020 saudi arabia is going to be the host of g20 summit saudi arabia recently became the full fledged member of fatf recently fatf was in news as sri lanka was removed from FATF grey list and recently Sri Lanka was in news as Asia's tallest tower was inaugurated in Sri Lanka in Colombo apart from that recently presidential elections held in Sri Lanka and Mr Gotbaya Rajapaksha became the
president and he appointed his brother Mr Mahinda Rajapaksha as prime minister which state or union territory celebrated the losar festival recently right answer is ladakh so recently ladakh union territory celebrated losar festival it is new year's day celebration observed in himalayan region now it should be kept in mind that it is a 15 days long celebration based on tibetan buddhist traditions it is also celebrated in bhutan and nepal now if we talk about union territory of ladakh on 31st of october state of jammu and kashmir was bifurcated into two union territories one is union territory of jammu and kashmir another one is ladakh and the lieutenant governor of union territory of ladakh is mr rk mathur lieutenant governor of union territory of jammu and kashmir is mr g c murmu and the former governor of state of jammu and kashmir mr satyapal malik has been appointed as the governor of goa goa was in news recently as international film festival of india held in goa and recently russia was the partner country for this international film festival of india now russia was also in news because of power of siberia it is a gas pipeline between russia and china and recently china banned wikipedia china was also in news as it is going to be the host of 2022 winter olympic games sirodhara which was recently highlighted by the health ministry is most associated with which therapy right answer is ayurveda so sirodhara is a therapy in ayurvedic system of medicine sirodhara is derived from sanskrit terms of siro that means head and flow that means dhara so it is a therapy of ayurvedic system of medicine periyar whose death anniversary was observed in tamil nadu recently is best known for which movement right answer is self respect movement so periyar also known as the father of dravidian movement is the best known for his self respect movement he had initiated the movement for achieving socio political equality for socially backward classes in the southern india he is also known for vaikom satyagraha and this was organized in kerala so recently periyar was in news because the death anniversary of periyar was observed in tamil nadu and recently tamil nadu was in news as it became the first state of india to enact a law on contract farming apart from that tamil nadu was also in news as recently ms rupa gurunath was appointed as the first woman president of tamil nadu cricket association the recently initiated joint military exercise among iran china and russia was conducted in which region right answer is indian ocean so the three countries iran china and russia started a joint military exercise in indian ocean and in the gulf of oman so this was a joint trilateral exercise between iran china and russia if we talk about iran the iranian economy is crippling because of usa sanctions usa has imposed sanctions on iran because of jcpoa it is informally known as iran nuclear deal and because of these sanctions there are trade restrictions on iran and that is why uk france and germany set up a bypass mechanism this is known as instex that is instrument in support of trade exchanges this is a bypass mechanism to continue trade with iran by circumventing us sanctions and this instex is a special purpose vehicle and it is registered in france that means the headquarter of instex is in france iran was also in news because of chahabar port india and iran are cooperating for this chahabar port project and with the help of this port india would be able to assess central asia by bypassing pakistan which online video game is being used by hong kong protesters to extend their anti government protest right answer is gta that is grand theft auto so protesters in hong kong have taken their fight to the online gaming platform these protesters are using gta to battle against their authorities which bank was recently designated by rbi as the lead convener bank for ladakh right answer is state bank of india so rbi that is reserve bank of india recently designated state bank of india as lead convener bank for union territory of ladakh on the other hand rbi also designated jammu and kashmir bank as a lead bank for jammu and kashmir union territory now if we talk about rbi 
RBI stands for Reserve Bank of India. It was established in 1935 on the recommendation of Hilton Young Commission. Present RBI Governor is Mr. Shakti Kant Das. The headquarters of RBI is in Mumbai and recently RBI was in news as it released FSR that is Financial Stability Report. The three-day National Tribal Dance Festival was conducted in which of the following cities? Right answer is Raipur. So the three-day National Tribal Dance Festival was conducted in the capital of Chhattisgarh and this is for the first time that it was conducted in Raipur. Now if we talk about Raipur, it is the capital of Chhattisgarh and the Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh is Mr. Bhupesh Baghel. Recently Chhattisgarh was also in news because of Suposhan Abhiyan. It is a nutritional drive. Apart from that, Chhattisgarh was also in news as recently the state government decided to declare Guru Ghasidas National Park as a Tiger Reserve. Answer in comment books in which year project Tiger was started and which is the implementing authority for this project. Now coming back to Chhattisgarh, Chhattisgarh was also in news as recently in Ambikapur in Chhattisgarh, India's first garbage cafe was opened. Here food is provided in exchange of garbage. Section 21 of Army Rules that was recently mentioned in the news deals with which of the following. Right answer is prohibition of army from involving in politics. So recently section 21 of army rules was in news because of the comments of former army chief General Bipin Rawat. This section prohibits the army personnel from attending or addressing any event for any political purpose or even communicating or publishing anything related to politics. If we talk about army, recently former army chief General Bipin Rawat retired from army and General Manoj Mukund Narwane took over as the army chief. On the other hand, former army chief General Bipin Rawat has been appointed as the CDS that is chief of defense staff and he is the first CDS. If we talk about CDS, CDS will be a four star general and CDS will act as principal military advisor to defense minister. Now one important thing is that recently, recently defense ministry brought a new clause that allows the CDS to serve up to maximum age of 65 years. Which country has recently decided to impose 3% digital tax on large tech companies from 2020? Right answer is Italy. So Italy has decided to impose new digital tax or web tax. It is similar to GAFA tax of France. GAFA stands for Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon. So this Italy's digital tax came into effect from 1st of January 2020. Now if we talk about Italy, capital of Italy is Rome and in fact the headquarter of FAO is also in Rome. FAO stands for Food and Agriculture Organization. Italy was also in news as it is going to be the host of 2026 Winter Olympic Games. China is going to be the host of 2020 Winter Olympic Games. Apart from that, Italy was also in news as it is going to be the host of G20 Summit in 2021. In addition to that, recently Italy was in news as Mr. Sudarshan Patnaik became the first Indian sand artist to receive Italian Golden Sand Art Award. Apart from that, Italy was also in news as recently WADA that is World Anti-Doping Agency published a report and as per that report, the cases of anti-doping violation are increasing and Italy has most violations. Italy is followed by France and USA. Russia is on fifth position in terms of violation and recently WADA banned Russia for four years for these violations. WADA is World Anti-Doping Agency. At national level, we have NADA that is National Anti-Doping Agency and recently Mr. Sunil Sethi was appointed as the ambassador of NADA. According to recently released UN report, who is the most famous teenager of decade? Right answer is Malala Yousafzai. So recently United Nations released decade in review report and this report declared Malala as the most famous teenager in the world. China had recently launched its heaviest satellite Saizian 20 on which rocket? Right answer is Long March 5. So recently China had launched the heaviest and the most advanced communication satellite. The name of the satellite is Saizian 20 and it was launched on the China's longest carrier rocket Long 
March 5. Now, if we talk about China, capital of China is Beijing and the president of China is Mr. Xi Jinping. China was also in news because of CBERS that is China Brazil Earth Resource Satellite and recently this was launched to monitor the Amazon rainforest. China was also in news because of Hong Kong protest. Hong Kong is the special administered region of China. Now China was also in news as per the global diplomacy index. China has more diplomatic post across the world as compared to USA. Which archipelago did tropical cyclone Sarai recently hit? Right answer is Fiji. So recently the tropical cyclone Sarai hit Fiji. Fiji is a country in South Pacific Ocean. Which country has recently drafted the UNGA approved a draft for international treaty to combat cybercrime? Right answer is Russia. So recently United Nations General Assembly approved a resolution that allows the process of drafting a new treaty to combat cybercrime and this resolution was drafted by Russia. Russia was also in news because of its sovereign internet law. Russia was also in news because of Renet. It is Russian domestic internet that means Russian authorities will now be able to monitor the connection between Russia and rest of the world in terms of internet connectivity. Which state or union territory recently approved the electric vehicle policy 2019? Right answer is Delhi. So the union territory of Delhi recently approved electric vehicle policy to counter the air pollution in the national capital region. As per the policy, government seeks to make 25% of all new vehicles into electric vehicles by 2024. Him Darshan Express that was recently launched connects which of the following sites? Right answer is Kalka Simla. So in December 2019, for the first time, Indian Railways had launched Him Darshan Express which consists of Vista Dome coaches. It travels between Kalka and Simla. Which states urban bodies have not yet declared themselves open defecation free? Right answer is West Bengal. So recently, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs had announced that Swachh Bharat Mission Urban has achieved its target of becoming the open defecation free. And as per the report, 35 states and union territories have become the open defecation free. Now it should be kept in mind that urban local bodies in West Bengal have not yet declared themselves as open defecation free. Which state run company had recently commissioned the first lignite based thermal power plant? Right answer is BHEL. So BHEL recently commissioned the India's first lignite based thermal power plant in Tamil Nadu. And this is India's first lignite fired 500 megawatt power plant in India and it is in Tamil Nadu. The purple book that was recently launched during e Trite Mela deals with which of the following aspects? Right answer is diets for diseases. So recently the purple book was launched during e Trite Mela and this Mela was organized by FSSAI. FSSAI stands for Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. It is under Health Ministry. Present Health Minister is Dr. Harshwadhan Singh. His constituency is Chandni Chowk in Delhi. Now coming back to this purple book, it gives general simplified guidelines to the hospitals on suitable diets for common medical conditions like diabetes, cancer, etc. Swami Sardhanan, who was recently mentioned in news, is well known for his which of the work? Right answer is Hindu Sangathan. So Swami Sardhanan authored Hindu Sangathan. Which organization has recently launched the five year program SnowX? Right answer is NASA. So recently, NASA was in use because of SnowX. Actually, it is a five year program that was initiated in 2016 17, and this program would study the water that is contained during snowfall. And this program would study how much water would be available when the snow melts during spring season. So the Snow X initiative is an initiative of NASA. Now if we talk about NASA, it is Space Agency of USA. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Recently NASA was also in news because of first all electric aircraft. Answer in comment books, what is the name of this aircraft? The annual Flamingo Festival is 
going to be held in January at Pulikat Lake. Now the question is, Pulikat Lake is in which state of India? Right answer is Andhra Pradesh. So it is in Andhra Pradesh and it is India's second largest brackish water system after Odisha's Chilka Lake. Now this Pulikat Lake is located at the border of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Approximately 96% of this lake is situated in Andhra Pradesh and 4% is situated in Tamil Nadu. Abhinandan scheme that was recently launched by Assam government is related to which of the following? Right answer is education subsidy. So recently Assam government launched Abhinandan scheme that will allow the deserving students to get one-time subsidy for higher education. So this is a education subsidy scheme for higher education. Now if we talk about Assam, recently Assam was in news as Assam government decided that no government jobs would be provided to the people who have more than two children and this would be effective from 2021. Apart from that, Assam was also in news as recently Assam government launched Sisu Suraksha app for protection of child rights. Apart from that, Assam was also in news because of Arundhati scheme. Answer in comment box what is the objective of this Arundhati scheme. In addition to that, Assam was also in news as recently Assam cabinet approved a decision to make Assamese the state language. The recently conducted trial run of first double stack freight train connects which of the following? Right answer is Rajasthan and Haryana. So recently dedicated freight corporation of India limited that is DFCI conducted trial run of first ever double stack freight train and it will connect Revari Madar station in Haryana and Rajasthan. So this is first ever trial of double stack freight train. India's first transit oriented development project is going to get its tallest tower. What is the name of this tower? Right answer is East Delhi hub. So recently Home Minister Mr. Amit Shah laid the foundation stone of India's first transit oriented development project and under this project Delhi would witness the construction of East Delhi hub and it is going to be the tallest tower. Which state or union territory recently launched Mukhya Mantri Awas Yojana? So it is an initiative by Delhi government and Delhi government launched this scheme for the residents of Jodhri Jopadi clusters. So it aims to provide them Pakka house that means it is an initiative for the construction of houses for slum dwellers. The stolen works of art database which was in news recently is maintained by which organization? So this stolen works of art database is maintained by Interpol. Interpol stands for International Police and the goal of this database is to keep a record of stolen works of art so that they can be returned to the original country. Now if we talk about Interpol, it is International Police and from India, CBI represents India in Interpol. CBI stands for Central Bureau of Investigation. Now Interpol was also in news as in 2022, India is going to host the Interpol conference. The headquarter of Interpol is in Lyon in France. India will also host G20 summit in 2022. This year, Saudi Arabia is going to host G20 summit and next year, Italy is going to host the G20 summit. Now Italy was also in news as from 1st of January 2020, Italy started imposing web tax on digital companies. This tax is similar to GAFA tax by France. Now if we talk about France, France was the host of 2019 G7 summit and this year that means in 2020 G7 summit will be hosted by USA. USA was also in news because of Space Force. Actually recently US President Mr. Donald Trump signed an act for the establishment of Space Force. Which state recorded the highest forest cover in recently released India State of Forest Report 2019? Right answer is Madhya Pradesh. So recently the State of Forest report was released and this report is released by FSI. FSI stands for Forest Survey of India and FSI is under Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and FSI released this report every two years. So as per this year's report, Madhya Pradesh 
recorded the highest forest cover in terms of area now if you talk about madhya pradesh recently madhya pradesh was in news as madhya pradesh government appointed bollywood actor mr govinda for the promotion of tourism in the state of madhya pradesh apart from that madhya pradesh was also in news as state government decided to give 5% reservation quota to the sports persons in government jobs madhya pradesh was also in news because of sire directory now answer in comment box what is the objective of this directory apart from that madhya pradesh was also in news as to mark the 550th birth anniversary of guru nanak dev ji madhya pradesh government decided to set up sikh museum and research center and this museum will be in jabalpur in madhya pradesh madhya pradesh was also in news as recently central india's first mega food park was started in madhya pradesh answer in comment box it is situated in which city of madhya pradesh what is cat triple i b system which has been in news recently with respect to the fog conditions in north that means in north india right answer is instrument landing system so cat triple i b is a instrument landing system it is used for safe landing of aeroplanes in the times of poor visibility so because of the fog conditions in north india the cat system was in use operation inherent resolve which was in news recently is being conducted by which country's military forces so it is being conducted by the military forces of usa it is a military intervention against activities of is il in iraq syria and previously in libya now if we talk about few other operations which were in news recently recently operation clean art was in news actually it was conducted by wccb that is wildlife crime control bureau and this was conducted to ensure that the mangoose hair brush trade be closed down across the country apart from that recently rbi announced operation twist under this operation twist rbi was supposed to conduct simultaneous sale and purchase of government securities under omo omo stands for open market operations in addition to that operation kaila muller was in news actually it was an operation of usa and during this operation islamic state leader abu bakar al baghdadi was killed in addition to that recently indian railways conducted operation dhanush answer in comment box what was the objective of this operation dhanush now one important thing i keep on asking questions so that you can recall whatever you have studied previously consistency is very important when it comes to current affairs you cannot cover the current affairs of entire month in one day therefore it is better to be consistent and devote some amount of time on daily basis for this preparation now next question the atrial fibrillation technology over which tech giant apple was recently sued is used to detect what condition so it is used to detect irregular heartbeat this atrial fibrillation technology is used to detect irregular heartbeats and apple watch products make use of this technology to monitor the heartbeat of the person who is wearing this apple watch and recently a new york university doctor sued apple for stealing the technology which as per him was earlier patented by him can anyone answer what is the difference between patent and copyright who recently set the record for the longest space flight by a woman right answer is christina koch so christina koch a nasa astronaut has set the record for the longest space flight by a woman miss christina koch is expected to be in a space for a total of 328 days now she is an astronaut of nasa nasa is national aeronautics and space administration it is the space agency of usa and recently nasa was in news because of snow x program it was initiated in 2016 17 and this program intends to study the water that is contained during snowfall apart from that nasa was also in news because of first all electric experimental aircraft and the name of this aircraft is X57 
Maxwell. Now, if we talk about USA, recently US president signed National Defense Authorization Act and this act authorized the establishment of Space Force of USA and therefore it would become the sixth branch of armed forces of USA. The Dada Sahab Falke Award which was conferred recently is the highest award in the country for which field? Right answer is cinema. So Dada Sahab Falke Award is the highest award conferred in the field of cinema and recently it was awarded to Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. The award was instituted in the honor of Dada Sahab Falke who is also considered as the father of Indian cinema. Old cases registered during the Pathalgadi movement were withdrawn recently with which state this movement was associated. So it was associated with Jharkhand and recently the state government of Jharkhand decided to withdraw all the cases registered during Pathalgadi movement and the members of this movement refused to recognize the authority of state and central government. However, it should be kept in mind that they recognize the authority of Gram Panchayat and that's why cases were registered against them and now the government of Jharkhand decided to withdraw all those cases. Recently, elections held in Jharkhand. The former chief minister of Jharkhand was Mr. Raghubar Das. Now, Mr. Hemant Soren became the chief minister of Jharkhand. Apart from that, Jharkhand was also in news as recently Justice Ravi Ranjan took oath as the Chief Justice of Jharkhand High Court. Perum Kaliyattam, which was in news recently, is a traditional dance form of which state of India. So, it is the traditional dance form of Kerala and recently it was performed in Kasargod after hundreds of years. So, for those who are preparing for UPSC 2020 prelims, this is an important term. Perum Kaliyattam. Now, if we talk about Kerala, recently Kerala government decided to conduct night walk to promote women empowerment. Apart from that, recently Kerala became the first state of India to pass anti-CAA resolution. CAA stands for Citizenship Amendment Act. This act talks about three countries, six communities and the cutoff date is 31st of December. 2014. These three countries are Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Pakistan that is ABP and these six countries are Hindu, Sikh, Jain, Buddhist, Christian and Parsis. Now one important thing is that this act will speed up the citizenship process for these communities and the cutoff date for the citizenship is 31st of December 2014 which means the applicant should have entered India on or before this particular date. Apart from that, Kerala was also in news as recently Niti Aayog released Sustainable Development Goals India Index and Kerala topped this index. Now I have already uploaded a video particularly on this topic. You can check that video. Now coming back to Niti Aayog, Niti Aayog was also in news as it published School Education Quality Index and this index was topped by Kerala. Niti Aayog is an executive body and Prime Minister is the ex-officio chairman of Niti Aayog. Bandhaugad Tiger Reserve which got its first elephant colony recently is in which state of India. So it is in Madhya Pradesh. Bandhaugad Tiger Reserve is in Madhya Pradesh and recently this Tiger Reserve got its first elephant colony. Now if we talk about elephants Recently, India's first elephant hospital was started in Mathura in Uttar Pradesh. Now, elephant is a Schedule 1 species of Wildlife Protection Act. This Wildlife Protection Act is an act of 1972. Now, if we talk about Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh is known as Tiger State because as per latest census, Madhya Pradesh has the highest number of estimated tigers. Now, recently in Rajya Sabha, the Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change provided the details related to Tiger Corridors and it was informed that NTCA that is National Tiger Conservation Authority has mapped 32 corridors all over the India. Now if we talk about Tiger, 29th of July 
is celebrated as International Tiger Day. Which state topped the recently released Sustainable Development Goal India Index? Right answer is Kerala. So as you can see, Kerala is the top performer while Bihar is the worst performer. In terms of union territories, Chandigarh is top performer. Now if we talk about this SDZ India Index, this was prepared by Niti Ayo. You can watch a special video on this topic. I will put the link in pinned comment. You can check video from there. The accession day which was recently designated by the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir government is to be celebrated on which date? Right answer is 26th of October. So recently the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir designated 26th of October as accession day. It marks the day of signing of instrument of accession by Maharaja Hari Singh with Lord Mountbatten. Now if we talk about Jammu and Kashmir, the state of Jammu and Kashmir was bifurcated into two union territories on 31st of October. 31st of October is special as it is the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel and that's why in India it is celebrated as National Unity Day. Now coming back to this bifurcation, so the state of Jammu and Kashmir was bifurcated into two union territories. One is Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, another one is Union Territory of Ladakh and the LG of Union Territory of Ladakh is Mr. R.K. Mathur and LG for Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir is Mr. G.C. Murmu. Now in the history of India, this is for the first time that a state was converted into two union territories. So now there are total 28 states and 9 union territories. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir will have a legislature such as Puducherry while the Union Territory of Ladakh will not have any legislature like Chandigarh. One more thing, after this bifurcation, Government of India released new maps depicting the new Union Territories of Jammu and Kashmir as well as Union Territory of Ladakh. Now these maps were prepared by Survey General of India. And as per this latest map, the Union Territory of Ladakh have two districts, Kargil and Leh. On the other hand, the rest of the state of Jammu and Kashmir is now part of Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. This POK, that is Pakistan Occupied Kashmir, is part of Jammu and Kashmir Union Territory and this Gilgit Baltistan region is part of Union Territory of Ladakh. Ministry of External Affairs has recently included Madagascar and Comoros in Indian Ocean Region Division. They were previously a part of which division? Right answer is East and South Africa Division. So recently, Ministry of External Affairs included Madagascar and Comoros in the Indian Ocean Division. And these were included in Indian Ocean Division because of growing geostrategic significance of islands of Indian Ocean. Now, if we talk about MEA, present minister is Mr. S. Jaisankar and present foreign secretary is Mr. V. K. Gokhale. And recently, the next foreign secretary was announced. Mr. Harshwardhan Sringla is going to be the next foreign secretary of India. Presently, he is India's ambassador to USA. The UK-based CEBR's 11th annual report was recently released. As per this report, in 2019, Indian economy is on what position? So as per this report, Indian economy is on fifth position. So according to UK-based CEBR, that is Center for Economics and Business Research report, India has overtaken France and UK to become the fifth largest economy. And the title of this report was World Economic League Table 2020. So as of now, USA, China, Japan and Germany are ahead of India as per this report and Indian economy recently overtook France and UK and became the fifth largest economy. Which country has recently decided to ditch its nickname Holland? So recently Netherlands, so recently Netherlands officially announced that it is going to ditch its nickname Holland. Now this is done. If we talk about Netherlands, recently Anktard released a business to consumer e-commerce index. And as per this index, Netherlands is on top while Switzerland is on 2nd position. India is on 73rd position. 
the capital of Netherlands is Amsterdam. If we talk about UNCTAD, it is permanent intergovernmental body established by United Nations and the headquarter of UNCTAD is in Geneva and it stands for United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. eBICRE platform was recently launched by Finance Ministry. It is related to right answer is auction. So recently Finance Ministry had launched eBICRE platform and this is an online platform to ensure the transparency in the auction of banks assets. Now this platform is linked with IB API portal. IB API stands for Indian Banks Auctions Mortgage Properties Information Portal. So this is an initiative by Finance Ministry. Present Finance Minister is Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman and Finance Minister is the Chairman of GST Council. Apart from that, Finance Ministry is also the Chairman of FSDC. FSDC stands for Financial Stability and Development Council. And recently, Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman announced 102 lakh crore worth projects to be implemented in next 5 years. So this amount could be asked in exam. The 20th edition of Financial Stability Report was released by which organization? Right answer is Reserve Bank of India. So this FSR has been released by Reserve Bank of India. According to this report, India's financial system remains stable regardless of recession. Now answer in comment box, what is the difference between recession and depression? Who is the first chief of defense staff? So recently, former Indian Army Chief General Bipin Rawat was appointed as India's first CDS. CDS stands for Chief of Defense Staff. CDS is a four-star military advisor. CDS is a military advisor to Ministry of Defense. And the maximum age limit for CDS is 65 years. So General Bipin Rawat was former Army Chief and recently Mr. Manoj Mukun Narwane took over as the next Army Chief. The government had recently launched Central Equipment Identity Register Portal. Now this operates under which of the department? So recently, Government of India launched Central Equipment Identity Register Portal to block and to trace mobile phones. And this operates under Department of Telecom. Now, if we talk about this CEIR, that is Central Equipment Identity Register, it has a database of IMEI number of blacklisted mobile phones. Now IMEI stands for International Mobile Equipment Identity Number. So this will help in blocking and tracing of stolen mobile phones. Now if we talk about Department of Telecom, it is a part of Ministry of Communications and it has two departments, Department of Telecommunications and Department of Post. Now it should be kept in mind that this Ministry of Communications was separated from Ministry of Communications and Information Technology and this was separated in 2016. Dhanu Jatra is celebrated in which state of India? So this famous 11 day Dhanu Jatra is the annual theatrical performance that is celebrated in Odisha. It is based on the mythological story of Lord Krishna and in 2014 it was given the status of national festival. Now, if we talk about Odisha, recently Odisha was in news as in Bhuneshwar, Odisha's first robotic restaurant was started. Apart from that, Odisha was also in news because of Jal Sathi initiative. And the objective of this initiative is to ensure supply of safe drinking water. In addition to that, recently Odisha was in news as BPCL has set up new state of art LPG bottling plant in Odisha. BPCL stands for Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. Odisha was also in news as recently Odisha Chief Minister Mr. Naveen Patnaik launched Madhu app. Answer in comment box what is the objective of this app? Apart from that recently National Tribal Craft Mela held in Odisha in Bhuneshwar. In addition to that Odisha was also in news as recently Odisha government has decided to merge its Kalia scheme with PM Kisan Yojana. Kalia stands for Krishak Assistance for Livelihood and Income Augmentation. Kosta, a female black rhino believed to be the world's oldest rhino, had recently died in Tanzanian conservation area. Now the question is 
what is the IUCN status of black rhinos? Right answer is critically endangered. So the IUCN status of black rhinos is critically endangered. And recently, Fosta, which is believed to be the world's oldest rhino, died in Tanzanian conservation area. Now, if we talk about IUCN, it is International Union for Conservation of Nature. And the headquarter of IUCN is in Switzerland. And it was founded in 1948. Answer in comment box whether IUCN is a UN organization or not. Now, coming back to rhino species. Actually, last year, New Delhi Declaration was signed to protect rhino species. And this New Delhi, and this New Delhi Declaration was signed between five countries. These are India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Bhutan and Nepal. And the declaration was signed to protect the three species of Asian rhinos. These are one-horned rhino species, Java rhino and Sumatran rhino species. And recently, Sumatran rhino species have become extinct in Malaysia after the death of its last captive rhino and the name of this last captive rhino was Iman. In addition to that, recently, Indian cricketer Mr. Rohit Sharma started a campaign to protect rhino species and the name of this campaign is Rohit for Rhino and this campaign was started in association with WWF India and Animal Planet. Which state is going to observe no vehicle day on the first day of every month in 2020? So recently, in order to promote road safety and to reduce the pollution due to vehicles, Rajasthan decided to observe a no vehicle day once in a month. So this is a good initiative by the government of Rajasthan. Now if we talk about Rajasthan, Rajasthan is the first state of India to implement biofuel policy. Apart from that, Rajasthan was also in news as recently Rajasthan government started first Janta clinic in Jaipur. In addition to that, Rajasthan recently banned certain types of tobacco and pan masala. Apart from that, Rajasthan was also in news because of India corruption survey. And as per this survey, Rajasthan is on the top position. While in South India, Telangana is on top position. Now, it should be kept in mind that I have said that in South India, Telangana is on top. Now, this India corruption survey was prepared by Transparency International India and local circles. And this local circles is a social media firm. Now, if we talk about corruption, the International Day of Anti-Corruption was observed on 9th of December. Answer in comment box, what was the theme of this latest International Day of Anti-Corruption? Where was the event held to commemorate the 76th anniversary of first flag hoisting by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose? Right answer is Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So, a function was held organized to commemorate the 76th anniversary of first flag hosting of the Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose at Port Blair. Now, if we talk about Andaman and Nicobar Islands, recently the list of best police stations in India was released and in that list, Aberdeen police station of Andaman and Nicobar Islands is the best police station in India and Aberdeen is followed by Balasinor police station. Answer in comment box, this Balasinor police station is in which state of India? Andaman and Nicobar Islands was also in news as recently, Lieutenant General Mr. P. S. Rajeshwar took over as the Commander-in-Chief of Andaman and Nicobar Command. Now this Andaman and Nicobar Command is the only tri-service command in our country. Apart from that, Andaman and Nicobar Islands were also in news as Andaman and Nicobar Islands are the first to get India's first water aerodromes. Now what exactly is this water aerodrome? This water aerodrome is an area of open water that can be used by the seaplane as well as amphibious aircraft to land and to take off. So this will obviously promote tourism in that region. Which state is going to conduct its maiden snow leopard survey? Right answer is Uttarakhand. So Uttarakhand is preparing for its first snow leopard survey. Now, if we talk about Uttarakhand, recently Uttarakhand was in news as Sarai Seaways Treatment Plant was in news as it was recently inaugurated. And this Seaways Treatment Plant 
is in Uttarakhand. Now, what is so special about this treatment plant? Actually, it is India's first sewage treatment plant that was completed under HAM model. HAM stands for Hybrid Annuity Model. It is a model of financing infrastructure projects. Apart from that, Uttarakhand was also in news as recently, world's first Muslim yoga camp was started in Kot Dwar in Uttarakhand. So this was organized in Kot Dwar in Uttarakhand. Apart from that, Uttarakhand was also in news because of Urjagiri campaign. This campaign was started to spread awareness about power theft. The Chief Minister of Uttarakhand is Mr. Trivendra Singh Rawat. Which ministry is set to launch Santust portal for rapid grievance redressal for the employers and for the employees. So it is a initiative by the Ministry of Labor and Employment. And this ministry is going to launch Santust platform to ensure the effective and time efficient implementation of labor laws at grassroots level. This will also look into the matters of services provided by EPFO. Now, if we talk about EPFO, EPFO stands for Employees Provident Fund Organization. Now, coming back to labor, recently, Chhattisgarh government launched financial scheme for laborers. And the name of this scheme is Mukhya Mantri Vishwakarma Nirman Sarmik Evam Divyang Sahayata Yojana. Who is going to head the recently constituted task force for developing the National Infrastructure Pipeline? Right answer is EAS that is Economic Affairs Secretary. So recently, Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman, the Union Finance Minister, unveiled a rupee 102 lakh crore National Infrastructure Pipeline. And to create a roadmap for this infrastructure pipeline, Finance Ministry had set up a task force which is to be headed by Economic Affairs Secretary. The Finance Ministry was also in news as recently it launched e bikri platform to ensure the transparency in auctioning of banks' assets. So this is a platform for online auctioning. Answer in comment box recently which organization launched money app to help visually challenged people to identify currency notes. The Dornier aircraft that was recently inducted into Otters Squadron belongs to which category? It is a light utility aircraft and recently Indian Air Force Chief Mr. RKS Badoria formally inducted this light utility aircraft into Otters Squadron. Now, in 2015, IAF had signed a contract with HAL to purchase these Dornier aircrafts. HAL stands for Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Answer in comment box, it is under which union ministry? Now, if we talk about IAF, present IAF chief is Mr. RKS Badoria and Indian Air Force celebrates 8th of October as Air Force Day. Now, if we talk about Air Force, recently, the MiG-27 of Indian Air Force retired. This was a fighter aircraft which was developed by Soviet Union and manufactured in India by HAL. This aircraft was also known as Bahadur and it is noted for its role in Kargil War. Which city was named the cleanest in recently released Swatch Servection League 2020 results? Right answer is Indore. So recently, government's cleanest survey was in news and as per that, Indore is the cleanest city in India. On the other hand, Kolkata is the worst performer. Now, if we talk about Indore, it is in Madhya Pradesh. And recently, Madhya Pradesh was in news as Bhopal Municipal Corporation in Madhya Pradesh and CPCB, that is Central Pollution Control Board, have signed a memorandum of understanding to set India's first e-waste clinic in Bhopal. Now, answer in comment box, this CPCB is under which union ministry? Apart from that, Madhya Pradesh was also in news as recently Asian Development Bank approved loan of $490 million to upgrade roads in Madhya Pradesh. Apart from that, state also appointed Mr. Govinda as the brand ambassador to promote tourism in state. In addition to that, state also decided to give 5% reservation quota to sportspersons in government jobs. Madhya Pradesh was also in news as recently State of Forest report was released and as per that report, Madhya Pradesh has highest forest cover. The recent Taiwanese anti-infiltration law is seen as a move against which country? Right answer is China. So recently, 
ਤਾਈਵਾਨ ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਪਾਸਟ ਐਂਟੀ ਇਨਫਿਲਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਲਾਅ ਟੂ ਕਾਊਂਟਰ ਦਾ ਥ੍ਰੈਟਸ ਫਰਮ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਨਾਉ ਥਿਸ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਪਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਤਾਈਵਾਨ ਟੂ ਕਰਬ ਇਨਫਲੂਐਂਸ ਆਫ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਇਟ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਕੈਪਟ ਇਨ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਤਾਈਵਾਨ ਇਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰਪੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਇਟਸੈਲਫ ਫॉर ਦ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਵੋਟ ਦ ਖਤਾਈਬ ਹਜ਼ਬੁੱਲਾ ਮਿਲੀਸ਼ਾ ਵਿਚ ਵਾਸ ਅਟੈਕਡ ਬਾਈ ਯੂਐਸ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਇਜ਼ ਬੇਸਡ ਇਨ ਵਿਚ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਨਸਰ ਇਜ਼ ਇਰਾਕ ਸੋ ਯੂਐਸ ਹੈਡ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਲੌਂਚਡ ਏਅਰ ਸਟ੍ਰਾਈਕ ਔਨ ਦ ਬੇਸਿਸ ਆਫ ਇਰਾਨ ਬੈਕਡ ਮਿਲੀਸ਼ਾ ਆਫ ਇਰਾਕ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਨੇਮ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਮਿਲੀਸ਼ਾ ਇਜ਼ ਖਤਾਈਬ ਹਜ਼ਬੁੱਲਾ ਸੋ ਦਿਸ ਖਤਾਈਬ ਹਜ਼ਬੁੱਲਾ ਮਿਲੀਸ਼ਾ ਇਜ਼ ਬੈਕਡ ਬਾਈ ਇਰਾਨ ਹਾਵੇਵਰ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਮਿਲੀਸ਼ਾ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਆਫ ਇਰਾਕ ਐਂਡ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅਟੈਕਡ ਬਾਈ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਏ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਏ ਅਟੈਕਡ ਦਿਸ ਮਿਲੀਸ਼ਾ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਇਨ ਦ ਰਿਟੈਲੀਏਸ਼ਨ of killing of a us civilian contractor now if we talk about iraq iraq is top crude oil supplier to india and recently us surpassed kuwait to become the sixth largest oil supplier to india apart from that iraq was also in news as recently iraq prime minister mr adel abdul mahdi resigned iraq was also in news as recently mr birender singh yadav was appointed as India's next ambassador to Iraq. What are the camel, mongoose, kaboom and aluminium that have been in use recently? Right answer is cricket bats. So these terms were mentioned in the news recently to indicate the different cricket bats. Actually the camel bat was recently used by Mr. Rashid Khan of Afghanistan and mongoose, kaboom, aluminium are some of the other names used to describe different cricket bats now why it was called camel because the bat had depression on the back which gave it a appearance of having two humps like camel that's why this camel bat was in use the justice hema commission which recently highlighted the issues faced by women in film industry was commissioned by which state government right answer is kerala so recently Kerala government tasked the three member commission headed by Justice Hema to investigate the problems faced by the women in Malayalam film industry and the commission pointed out that there are many instances where women had to face the issues of casting couch now if we talk about Kerala the state was in news recently as it became the first state assembly to pass a resolution demanding the withdrawal of CAA CAA stands for Citizenship Amendment Act. Kerala was also in news as it topped SEQI. SEQI stands for School Education Quality Index. This index was prepared by Niti Aayog and as per this index Kerala was the top performer while Uttar Pradesh was the worst performer. Apart from that Kerala was also in news because of SDG index and recently the second edition of this SDG index was released by Niti Aayog and Kerala is the top performer as per this index the score of Kerala is 70 while Himachal Pradesh is on second position the score of Himachal Pradesh is 69 so Kerala and Himachal Pradesh are the top performers in states category of this SDG index in terms of union territories Chandigarh was the top performer now it should be kept in mind that as per this SDG India index India's composite score increased from 57 in 2018 to 60 in 2019 and i have made a specific video related to this topic you can watch it kerala was also in news because of night walk now this is an initiative by the kerala government to promote women empowerment which river is known as mexico's most polluted water bay by the united nations actually this river was in news recently for failed rejuvenation efforts So the name of river is Santiago River and United Nations called the Santiago River as the Mexico's most polluted waterway and recently Mexico signed USMCA it is United States Mexico Canada trade agreement and in this agreement Mexico made it an explicit promise to conserve its environment USMCA will replace NAFTA NAFTA stands for North American Free Trade Agreement Now coming back to Mexico Mexico was also in news as recently Mexican actress Yelitza Aparicio was named UNESCO's goodwill ambassador If we talk about UNESCO recently Saudi Arabia 
was elected for the UNESCO's World Heritage Committee. And this is for the first time that Saudi Arabia was elected for this World Heritage Committee. Now UNESCO was also in news because of Galapagos Archipelago. It is UNESCO World Heritage Site. Answer in comment box, it is associated to which country? Mexico was also in news as recently Guadalajara Book Fair held in Mexico. And India was the guest of honor for this book festival and India became the first Asian country to participate as the guest of honor in this biggest book fair in Spanish speaking world. The recent hashtag India support CAA campaign was launched via which app? Right answer is Namo. To gain popular support for Citizenship Amendment Act, hashtag India support CAA campaign was launched on the Prime Minister's official app Namo. Now, if we talk about CAA, actually initially it was CAB, that is Citizenship Amendment Bill. However, it was passed by the Parliament as well as signed by the President and therefore it became the Citizenship Amendment Act. Now, this Act talks about the provisions of citizenship for six religious minorities from three countries and the cutoff date is 31st of December 2014. I'm going to make a separate video in a quiz format so that you can understand this entire issue in a much simplified manner. The Turkey government had recently signed military and maritime agreement with GNA. Now the question is what is GNA? GNA is the government of GNA is the interim government of Libya. So recently GNA and Turkey signed military and maritime agreement. GNA is the interim government of Libya. Libya shares border boundary with Mediterranean Sea and Libya is facing a situation of civil war since 2011. Now if we talk about this GNA, GNA is government of national accord and presently Faiz Mustafa Al Saraz is the prime minister of this GNA and Turkey supports this GNA of Mr. Faiz Al Saraz. The president of Turkey Mr. Rajab Tayyab Erdogan, capital of Turkey is Ankara and currency of Turkey is Lira. The capital of Libya is Tripoli. Prakash Par was celebrated as the birth anniversary of which Sikh Guru? So recently Prakash Par is celebrated on the birth anniversary of 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Govind Singh Ji. If we talk about Guru Govind Singh Ji, he was the 10th Sikh Guru and he succeeded Guru Teg Bahadur. Which country was the largest source of FDI that is foreign direct investment in India during the first half of the financial year of 2019 to 2020? Right answer is Singapore. So according to a recently released data by the government of India, Singapore remains the largest source of FDI in India during the first half of financial year. While Singapore is on top position, Mauritius is on second position in terms of FDI and Mauritius was followed by USA and Netherlands and recently Netherlands was in news as the Netherlands government decided to drop Holland as the nickname. Now coming back to Singapore, recently Singapore was in news as National University of Singapore got the first rank in QS World University ranking in Asia. Singapore was also in news as recently India and Singapore signed a letter of intent and this would allow Singapore to conduct firing of missiles systems at integrated test range at Chandipur in Odisha. Apart from that, Singapore was also in news as recently Defence Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh visited Singapore and during his visit to Singapore, he also visited Kranji war memorial in Singapore. In addition to that, Singapore recently became first country to ban advertisements on sugary drinks. ISRO is to set up second launch port in Tamil Nadu for SSLV. What does SSLV stands for? So SSLV stands for Small Satellite Launch Vehicle. So recently ISRO that is Indian Space Research Organization decided to set up its second launch port in Thotukodi district of Tamil Nadu and this new launch port will mainly handle SSLV. SSLV stands for Small Satellite Launch Vehicle and SSLV will be used to carry payload 
of up to 500 kg. If we talk about ISRO, the chief of ISRO is Dr. K. Sivan and recently he was awarded by Tamil Nadu government with Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam Award. The headquarters of ISRO is in Bengaluru. Now if we talk about Tamil Nadu, recently Tamil Nadu became the first state of India to implement a law on contract farming. Tamil Nadu was also in news as recently Ministry of Road Transport and Highways released a report related to road accidents. And as per this report, Tamil Nadu is on top position in terms of number of road crashes. Apart from that, Tamil Nadu was also in news as recently NDRF that is National Disaster Response Force launched Clean Kuvam campaign to restore the polluted waterway in Tamil Nadu. NDRF is under Ministry of Home Affairs while if we talk about Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, present minister is Mr. Nitin Gadkari. His constituency is Nagpur. Nagpur is in Maharashtra and recently Mr. Uddhav Thakre took oath as the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. What is the estimated cost of new Chandrayaan 3 project as per the announcement of ISRO? So the cost is approximately 600 crore rupees. And recently, ISRO has confirmed the country's third mission to moon and the name of this mission is going to be Chandrayaan 3. And the government has approved the project of Chandrayaan 3 with the estimated cost of approximately 600 crore rupees. Now, if we talk about ISRO, recently ISRO was also in news as it has transferred indigenous technology to produce space-grade lithium-ion cells to BHEL. BHEL stands for Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. ISRO was also in news as ISRO is going to launch satellite Aditya to study Sun and it is going to be the first satellite of India to study Sun. It will be launched in 2021 and in addition to that ISRO was also in news as recently ISRO joined hand with DRDO for Gaganyaan mission. Now if we talk about this Gaganyaan project it is India's first human space flight program and so far only USA, Russia and China have launched human space flight missions. Which satellite would be launched on 17th of January as the first satellite of 2020? So it is going to be GSAT-30 and it is a communication satellite. So it is going to be the first satellite of 2020 and this satellite will be used to provide communication links to government and private service providers. Who was recently reappointed as the chairman of Railway Board? Right answer is Mr. Vinod Kumar Yadav. So recently, Appointments Committee of Cabinet that is ACC approved the reappointment of Mr. V.K. Yadav as the chairman of Railway Board. Now answer in comment box, who is the chairman of this Appointments Committee of Cabinet? Now. Mr. V.K. Yadav is the chairman of Railway Board. If we talk about Indian Railways, recently Railways launched Integrated Helpline number and it is 139. Apart from that, recently Indian Railways has installed two health ATMs at Charbagh Railway Station in Lucknow. In addition to that, Indian Railway was also in news as recently Oxygen Parlour was opened at Nasik Railway Station and this oxygen parlor was installed to combat air pollution. Apart from that, railways was also in news as recently Railway Protection Force that is RPF was renamed as Indian Railway Protection Force Service. Present Rail Minister is Mr. Pius Goel. What is the name of award to be given to the states for good agricultural production? Right answer is Krishi Kraman Award. So this is an award which is related to the good agricultural production and this Krishi Kraman award was instituted by Ministry of Agriculture to recognize the efforts of states in the production of food grains. Now if we talk about Agriculture Ministry, the present minister is Mr. Narendra Singh Tomar. His constituency is Morena and it is in Madhya Pradesh. Now if we talk about Agriculture, recently Government of India constituted a group of ministers to review the crop insurance scheme and this group of minister is headed by defense minister Mr. Rajnath Singh. 
which city is to host the 107th edition of Indian Science Congress? Right answer is Bengaluru. So Prime Minister Mr. Modi inaugurated the 107th edition of Indian Science Congress in Bengaluru and the theme for this event was Science and Technology Rural Development and this event held in University of Agricultural Sciences in Bengaluru. Now if we talk about Bengaluru, it is in Karnataka and the Chief Minister of Karnataka is Mr. B.S. Yadurappa. Recently Karnataka was in news as it topped India Innovation Index. The index was prepared by Niti Ayo. Karnataka was also in news as it topped Saral Index. Saral stands for State Rooftop Solar Attractiveness Index. In addition to that, Karnataka was also in news as recently State of Forest Report was released. And as per that report, Karnataka is on top position in terms of highest growth in last two years in forest cover. Now, one important thing that you should keep in mind is that we are talking about highest growth. If we talk about overall area in terms of forest cover, Madhya Pradesh is on top. Now, coming back to Karnataka, Karnataka was also in news as recently Election Commission of India organized 4th General Assembly of Association of World Election Bodies and this event was organized in Bengaluru in Karnataka. If we talk about Election Commission of India, it is a constitutional body and recently Election Commission of India was in news as it launched PPRTMS. It stands for Political Parties Registration Tracking Management System and this system was launched in order to enable applicants to track the status of their application. Who received the famous Sangeet Kala Nidhi Award of Music Academy? Right answer is S. Somaya. So the leading Carnatic vocalist S. Somaya was selected for the Sangeet Kala Nidhi Award instituted by Music Academy. After Indore at first rank, which cities are ranked on the second and third position in Swatch Servation League 2020 that was released recently? Right answer is Bhopal and Surat. So recently, the results of Swatch Servation League 2020 were released by the Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs, Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri. And under the category of cities with 10 lakh plus population, Indore topped in both first and second quarters. Indore is in Madhya Pradesh. On the other hand, Bhopal and Surat were ranked second and third in the first quarter, while Rajkot and Navi Mumbai were on second and third position respectively in second quarter. So, Indore is on top in both quarters, Bhopal and Surat are on top in first quarter, while Rajkot and Navi Mumbai are on second quarter. What is the outlay of National Infrastructure Plan that was recently announced by Union Finance Minister? Right answer is 102 lakh crore. So recently, Union Finance Minister announced National Infrastructure Pipeline and this has the outlay of rupee 102 lakh crore. The Ministry of Finance had set up a committee headed by Economic Affairs Secretary to prepare a roadmap for NIP. NIP stands for National Infrastructure Pipeline. Now, in the plan which involves spending in various sectors, the central government and the state governments would have an equal share of 39% in spending, while private sector would have 22% share in the spending for these infrastructure projects. So now, if there is a question about funding pattern, you can easily answer. Which country recently announced to increase the minimum wage of the workers by more than four times the rate of its inflation? Right answer is UK. So the Prime Minister of UK, Mr. Boris Johnson announced the increase of minimum wage of workers by more than four times of rate of inflation that is prevailing in UK. Now, if we talk about UK, recently elections held in UK and Mr. Boris Johnson got re-elected. Apart from that, UK was also in news as the 2019 NATO summit held in UK. NATO stands for North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The headquarter of NATO is in Brussels in Belgium. And recently, Belgium got its first female Prime Minister. Answer in comment box, what is her name? Apart from that, if we talk about UK, UK was also in news because of Chagos Islands. It is disputed territory between UK and Mauritius. And recently, 
the government of mauritius accused uk of committing crime against humanity in the context of chago silence apart from that uk was also in news as uk government decided to introduce national health service visa and this visa will fast track the entry of medical professionals in uk and this will help in filling the workforce shortages in the healthcare system of uk now answer in comment box what is inflation and how it is different from stagflation which indian player was named as the captain of espn cricket infos odi and t20 team of the decade right answer is former indian skipper mr ms dhoni so mr dhoni was selected as the captain of both espn cricket infos odi as well as the captain of t20 team of the decade the term spa rmv sometimes seen in news is most closely related to which organization so it is associated to indian railways and this spa rmvs stands for self propelled accident relief medical vans these are the vehicles to provide relief during railway accidents and disasters and indian railways is replacing locomotive supported armvs with self propelled accident relief medical vehicles to improve the response during railway disasters so this is associated to indian railways senior politician and former member of parliament mr d p tripathi passed away recently he was associated to which political party so he was associated to ncp that is nationalist congress party and he was former rajya sabha mp from maharashtra he was the author of journal titled think india and recently ncp congress and shiv sena coalition formed the government in maharashtra the chief minister of maharashtra is mr uddhav thakre and the governor of maharashtra is mr bhagat singh koshyari he was the former chief minister of uttarakhand present chief minister of uttarakhand is mr trivendra singh rawat and recently uttarakhand was in news as uttarakhand started urja giri campaign to prevent power theft who was recently reappointed as the deputy election commissioner of india for the term of 1 year right answer is mr umesh sinha so recently mr umesh sinha was reappointed as the deputy election commissioner of india previously mr sinha had served as the chief election commissioner of uttar pradesh if we talk about uttar pradesh recently uttar pradesh state road transport corporation launched dedicated women helpline damini and this is an extension of nirbhaya yojana of central government and the helpline number is 8114277777 Now Uttar Pradesh was also in news as recently state government decided to set up first vulture conservation and breeding center of Uttar Pradesh in Maharaj Ganj district apart from that Uttar Pradesh was also in news as India's first university for transgenders will come up in Uttar Pradesh and this year's defense expo will also be in Uttar Pradesh the swarn jayanti fellowships have been recently awarded to 14 personalities belonging to which profession right answer is scientist so swarn jayanti fellowship scheme was instituted by indian government in this scheme certain young scientists are selected and they are provided assistance by the department of science and technology for pursuing their projects which company has recently partnered with ministry of housing and urban affairs for the implementation of Deen Dayal Antyodaya Yojana National Urban Livelihood Mission Scheme right answer is Flipkart so recently a memorandum of understanding was signed between Flipkart and Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs for the implementation of Deen Dayal Antyodaya Yojana National Urban Livelihood Mission under this partnership Flipkart will join hands with the state missions of Deen Dayal Antyodaya Yojana to implement its flagship smart program and it will provide market access to local weavers craftsmen and small businessmen the 27th edition of national children's science congress was recently organized in which indian city right answer is tiruvananthapuram so recently this event held in tiruvananthapuram in kerala and it was inaugurated by vice president of india mr m venkaiah naidu 
Prime Minister of India recently inaugurated five Young Scientist Lab of which organization? So recently, Prime Minister Mr. Modi recently launched five new defense laboratories called DRDO Young Scientist Laboratories, that is DYSL. These labs will operate from five cities. These are Bengaluru, Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, and Kolkata. So these laboratories will focus on developing new and innovative defense technologies. Now, if we talk about DRDO, it is under Defense Ministry. And recently, Defense Ministry was also in news as the fifth department under Defense Ministry was created. And the name of this department is DMA, that is Department of Military Affairs. And it is going to be headed by CDS, that is Chief of Defense Staff. Now, I have made a separate video on this topic. You can watch that video for detailed analysis. Now, coming back to DRDO, DRDO was also in news as recently DRDO Chief Mr. G. Satish Reddy was awarded the Honorary Fellowship by Royal Aeronautical Society of UK. Apart from that, DRDO was also in news as recently Women's Science Congress held in Bangalore. And this conference was associated to DRDO in the sense that the chief guest of this conference was Dr. Tacey Thomas. And she is the Aeronautical Systems Director General of DRDO. And popularly, she is known as Missile Women of India. Now, Dr. Kalam is known as Missile Man of India and his birthday is celebrated on 15th of October, which is also celebrated as Students' Day. Which state has recently declared 2020 as Year of Artificial Intelligence and has signed Memorandum of Understanding with tech firms for research in the field of artificial intelligence? Right answer is Telangana. So Telangana is going to celebrate 2020 as Year of Artificial Intelligence. On the other hand, Haryana is going to celebrate 2020 as Year of Good Governance. And recently, Good Governance Index was released. I have already uploaded a special video on this topic. You can watch that. Now this Good Governance Day is celebrated on 25th of December on the occasion of birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee. And on this occasion, the government launched Atal Bhujal Yojana. Apart from that, on the occasion of Good Governance Day, the government renamed the tunnel under Rohtang Pass as Atal Tunnel. This Atal Bhujal Yojana is related to the management of groundwater. Now coming back to 2020, 2020 is also going to be celebrated as the year of nurse and midwife. And recently, it was announced by WHO. WHO is sometimes in news because of triple billion strategy. Answer in comment box, what is this triple billion strategy? According to recent data from Ministry of Forest, Environment and Climate Change, what is the total number of tiger deaths occurred in India during 2019? So as per the data of Ministry of Forest, Environment and Climate Change, 95 tigers were dead in total. And in 2018, 100 tigers died, while in 2017, the total was 115. Now, if we talk about tiger, the tiger day, that is global tiger day or international tiger day is celebrated on 29th of July. Apart from that, recently, the Ministry of Forest, Environment and Climate Change informed that there were 32 tiger corridors and these corridors were mapped by NTCA. NTCA stands for National Tiger Conservation Authority. Answer in comment box, who is the chairman of NTCA? Apart from that, if we talk about tiger census, Madhya Pradesh is the tiger state. That means the state recorded the most number of estimated tigers. And recently Madhya Pradesh was in use as its first elephant colony in Bandhavgad Tiger Reserve. David Stern, who passed away recently, was the commissioner of which famous sports league? Right answer is NBA. So he was the commissioner of National Basketball Association from 1984 to 2014. And he was American lawyer. Sunita Lakhra, who announced her retirement recently, is associated to with sports. So she is associated to hockey. Now recently, Mr. Peter Seidel from Australia also announced his retirement. He is famous Australian cricketer. Apart from him, recently Mr. Irfan Pathan announced his retirement. He is also associated to cricket. Which state has recently announced a scheme to deliver sand to customers' doorstep? So, it is Andhra Pradesh. And recently, 
to prevent the smuggling of sand andhra pradesh government decided that it is going to deliver sand to the customers doorstep the state recently launched new sand policy in september 2019 and all these initiatives are taken to curb the illegal sand trade now if we talk about andhra pradesh recently andhra pradesh was in news because of disha bill the state also launched disha app and now this disha bill is an act now this act is for the speedy trial and faster execution in the cases of sexual offenses against women and recently andhra pradesh state government appointed dr kartika shukla and ips officer m dipika as special officers for implementing this disha act apart from that andhra pradesh was also in news because of operation joint dolphin answer in comment box what was the objective of this operation in addition to that state also launched a helpline 14400 for corruption related complaints and recently india corruption survey was in news and as per this survey telangana is on top in south india in terms of corruption overall rajasthan is on top that means rajasthan is the worst performer when it comes to corruption umrao sisoko ambolo was recently elected as the president of which country so he was recently elected as the president of guyana bisu he was the former prime minister and army general of the country if we talk about guyana bisu it is a west african country and it got independence from portugal in 1974 the capital of portugal is lisbon and recently mr antonio costa got reelected as the prime minister of portugal who has recently presented the lokmanya tilak national journalism award so mr sanjay gupta of jagran was recently honored with lokmanya tilak national journalism award and this award was instituted by pune based kesari maratha trust kesari is the name of newspaper that was started by freedom fighter lokmanya tilak what is the new integrated helpline of indian railways that was launched recently so it is 139 present railway minister is mr pius goel and recently he announced that railways will be net zero emitter by 2030 apart from that recently mr v k yadav was reappointed as the chairman of railway board in addition to that railway was also in news as rpf that is railway protection force was renamed as indian railways protection force service in addition to that recently the first trial run of double stack freight train was conducted on rewadi in haryana and madha station what is the annual financial assistance given to eligible farmers under pm kisan scheme right answer is 6000 so the third installment of pm kisan scheme was released by prime minister of india and this pm kisan stands for pradhan mantri kisan samman nidhi and this scheme was launched to provide financial assistance of rupees 6000 per year to eligible farmers in three installments of 2000 each now recently pm kisan scheme was also in news as odisha government announced that its kalia scheme will be merged with pm kisan scheme kalia stands for krishak assistance for livelihood and income augmentation scheme now odisha was also in news because of dhanu jatra apart from that odisha was also in news as a state government started jal sathi program and the objective of this initiative is to provide safe drinking water in addition to that odisha was also in news as recently it launched madhu app to help students which indian city is to play the host to the khelo india youth games so guwahati in assam is the host for this year's khelo india youth games and it is going to be the third edition now if we talk about guwahati it is in assam and recently assam state government launched abhinandan scheme it is a scheme to provide assistance to the students for their higher education assam was also in news as recently assam government decided to set up anti depredation squads to deal with the human wildlife conflict in the state of assam apart from that assam was also in news as it launched arun dhati scheme as per this scheme the government will provide gold to the brides in addition to that assam was also in news as it launched sisu suraksha app to protect kids which portal was recently launched by prime minister in indian science congress bengaluru right answer is i stamp so prime minister launched this i stamp portal 
including Indian Science Congress and this I STEM stands for Indian Science Technology and Engineering Facilities Map. If we talk about this year's Science Congress, it is 107th edition and the theme of this year's Science Congress was Science and Technology Rural Development. What is the theme of New Delhi World Book Fair 2020? Right answer is Gandhi, the writer's writer. So the 28th edition of New Delhi World Book Fair started in Pragati Maidan and to commemorate the 150th birth anniversary of Gandhiji, the theme of this fair is Gandhi, writer's writer. Union Human Resource Development Minister Mr. Ramesh Nishank inaugurated this annual fair and this is organized by NBT. NBT stands for National Book Trust and the chief guest of this inaugural event was Gandhian scholar Girishwar Mishra. Answer in comment books which state government decided to set up Swachh Bharat University to mark the 150th birth anniversary of Gandhiji? The World Health Assembly of WHO has designated 2020 as Year of Right Answer is International Year of Nurse and Midwife. We have already covered this topic in the first question itself. So WHO has designated 2020 as International Year of Nurse and Midwife. If we talk about WHO, it is World Health Organization. The headquarter of WHO is in Geneva in Switzerland. Which city was the host of National Ice Hockey Championship? So right answer is Leh. So the fifth edition of National Ice Hockey Championship began in Leh in the Union Territory of Ladakh. And this event was organized by IHAI that is Ice Hockey Association of India. If we talk about Union Territory of Ladakh, it was bifurcated from the state of Jammu and Kashmir. State of Jammu and Kashmir was bifurcated into two Union Territories. One is Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Another one is Union Territory of Ladakh. And Mr. R.K. Mathur is the Lieutenant Governor of Union Territory of Ladakh while Mr. G.C. Murmu is the Lieutenant Governor of Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Now recently, two more Union Territories were in use because of decision of merger. So Union Territory of Dadra and Nagar Haveli is going to be merged with Union Territory of Daman and Diu. This merger would be effective from 26th of January. Now one important thing is that since it is a merger of Union Territories, it is not a constitutional amendment. Answer in comment box which article of constitution contains the provision for amendment of constitution. And the new name for this merged Union Territory is going to be Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu. The birth anniversary of which social reformer was celebrated on 3rd of January. So, so it is the birth anniversary of social reformer and first female teacher of India, Ms. Savitri Bai Phule. Ms. Savitri Bai Phule, along with her husband, Mr. Jyoti Rao Phule, founded country's first girls' school in Pune. It was founded in 1848. So, she was from Maharashtra. She was well-known social reformer, and she is considered to be the first female teacher of India and mother of Indian feminism. Which country recorded the highest number of childbirths on the New Year's Day? So, as per the recent data of UNICEF, India recorded the highest number of childbirths on New Year's Day. On 1st of January, 67,385 babies took birth in India. So, India is on top position and India is followed by China. Nigeria is on third position in terms of number of babies took birth on 1st of January 2020. Which Indian state has recently launched Cyber Safe Women Initiative? So it is an initiative by the state government of Maharashtra. And this initiative was launched on the birth anniversary of social reformer Ms. Savitri Bai Phule. If we talk about Maharashtra, Maharashtra was also in news because of India Justice Report. As per this report, Maharashtra is on top position in terms of delivering justice to citizens. Apart from that, Maharashtra was also in news as Nagpur Mumbai Expressway will be renamed as Hindu Hridya Samrat Bala Sahab Thakre Maharashtra Samriddhi Mahamarg. Apart from that, Maharashtra was also in news as Amazon will open its first farm collection center in Pune in Maharashtra. And using this farm collection center, Amazon will directly purchase vegetables from the farmers. Now, Amazon was also in news because of Project Zero. Answer in comment box, what is the objective of this project? The ancient festival of Lai Haroba 
is recently celebrated in which state of India? So it was celebrated in Tripura. It is a festival that is celebrated by the Meethi community of Manipur. And it was recently celebrated in the capital of Tripura, Agartala. This Lai Haroba festival is celebrated through oral literature, music, dance and rituals. World's second tallest statue of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel was recently unveiled in which state of India? So it is Gujarat and recently the second tallest statue of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel was recently unveiled in Ahmedabad city of Gujarat. It is 50 feet tall bronze statue. It was inaugurated by the Chief Minister of Gujarat, Mr. Vijay Rupani. The tallest statue of Sardar Patel is situated in Narmada district of Gujarat and it is known as the Statue of Unity. Now, Mr. Ram Vanji Sutar is the designer of both these statues. Now, if we talk about Gujarat, recently Gujarat was in news as KVIC, that is Khadi and Village Industries Commission, opened first silk processing plant at Surendranagar in Gujarat and this will help in reducing the cost of production of Gujarati Patola Saris. If we talk about KVIC, recently KVIC was in news as it launched first terracotta grinder in Uttar Pradesh and recently Uttar Pradesh was in news as India's first university for transgenders will be in Uttar Pradesh. Apart from that, Uttar Pradesh was also in news as recently Uttar Pradesh State Transport Corporation launched a dedicated helpline Damini and the helpline number is 811427777. So this helpline was launched for the women's safety. Qasim Soleimani, who was killed in the US air strike, was the military commander of which country? So recently, powerful military commander of Iran, General Qasim Soleimani, was killed in the air strike conducted by USA. Now, General Qasim Soleimani was the commander of Quad's forces of IRGC. IRGC stands for Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Now, these Quad forces are responsible for conducting covert operations and extraterritorial operations and General Qasim Soleimani was the commander of these squad forces. Now coming back to Iran, recently Iran was in news. Iran announced that it is not going to follow JCPOA. That means it will no longer abide by any limits on the enrichment of uranium. Actually JCPOA is Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action and it was negotiated in 2015 at that point of time, the US President was Mr. Barack Obama. So it is a nuclear deal between Iran and P5 plus 1, that is permanent members of United Nations Security Council, these are 5 countries, and Germany. So this deal was to put a limit on the nuclear program of Iran. However, after the death of General Qasim Soleimani, Iran announced that they are not going to follow the limits on this nuclear program. And now, Iran appointed Ismail Kani as new commander. Apart from that, Iran was also in news because of Chahbar port. Chahbar port is situated in Iran and India and Iran are cooperating on this port and using this port, India can assist Central Asia by bypassing Pakistan. Apart from that, Iran was also in news as recently 53 billion barrels of crude oil was discovered in Khujistan province of Iran. Manav Thakkar, who is in news recently, is a famous personality of which sports? Right answer is table tennis. So, Mr. Manav Thakkar is a table tennis player and recently he was in news as he reached on the top position as per the latest ITTF ranking in under 21 men's category. So, as per this latest ITTF ranking, Mr. Manav Thakkar is on top position. ITTF stands for International Table Tennis Federation and the headquarter of ITTF is in Lausanne in Switzerland. If we talk about Switzerland, Switzerland is going to be the partner country for BioAsia 2020 event and this event will be in Hyderabad in February 2020. Apart from that, Switzerland was also in news as the first global refugee forum held in Geneva. Geneva is in Switzerland. On which date? The World Brill Day is celebrated every year. Right answer is 4th of January. So the World Brill Day is celebrated on the 4th of January. Actually, Brill is a representation of letters and numbers using six dots. 
and this can be interpreted by the visually impaired person so this is a language for them it was invented by louis braille now if we talk about visually impaired recently rbi launched money app so that visually challenged person can identify currency notes rbi was also in news because of fsr fsr is financial stability report rbi stands for reserve bank of india the present governor is mr shaktikan das headquarter of rbi is in mumbai and rbi was formed on the recommendations of hilton young commission apart from that rbi was also in news because of operation twist answer in comment box what is the objective of operation twist rbi was also in news as recently rbi has granted in principle approval to sivalik cooperative bank for transition into sfb that is small finance bank now answer in comment box what is the difference between small finance bank and payment bank raisina dialogue is an annual multilateral conference organized by which ministry so it is an annual conference jointly organized by mea in association with orf mea stands for ministry of external affairs and orf stands for observer research foundation and the title of this year's event is navigating the alpha century and this event will be in new delhi now if we talk about mea present minister is mr s jay shankar and present foreign secretary is mr v k gokhale recently mr harshvardhan sringla was appointed as next foreign secretary and he will assume charge on 29th of january apart from that mea that means ministry of external affairs was also in news because of nest initiative nest stands for new and emerging strategic technologies the first silk processing plant of kvic that is khadi and village industries commission is set up in which state to boost production of patola sarees right answer is gujarat so kvic inaugurated their first silk processing plant at surendranagar district in gujarat and this new plant set up by kvic would cut down the price of production of patola sarees now if we talk about kvic kvic is statutory body under ministry of msme and recently kvic was in news as it launched first terracotta grinder answer in comment box in which state of india kvic launched this first terracotta grinder apart from that kvic was also in news as it launched leather mission in sirohi district of rajasthan now coming back to gujarat recently gujarat was in news as fssai launched verified milk vendor scheme in gujarat fssai stands for food safety and standards authority of india and it is under ministry of health and family welfare present minister is dr harshvardhan his constituency is chandni chowk in delhi now coming back to gujarat again gujarat was also in news as recently the chief minister of gujarat inaugurated the world's second tallest statue of sardar vallabh bhai patel so this second tallest statue is also in gujarat the first is in narmada district of gujarat and it is known as statue of unity and 31st of october which is the birth anniversary of sardar patel is celebrated as national unity day and on this day the state of jammu and kashmir was bifurcated apart from that if we talk about sardar patel he was the first home minister of independent india and he was the first deputy prime minister the transport department of which state recently launched a helpline and this helpline is damini so recently up srtc that is uttar pradesh state road transport corporation launched this women helpline called damini and the objective of this helpline is to improve the safety of women in public transport and the helpline number is 8114277777 and this damini initiative is a part of central government's nirbhaya scheme now if we talk about uttar pradesh recently the first meeting of national ganga council held in uttar pradesh in kanpur answer in comment box who was the chairman of this national ganga council apart from that uttar pradesh was also in news as india's first university for transgender community will be in khushi nagar in uttar pradesh in addition to that uttar pradesh was also in news as recently prime minister unveiled statue of former prime minister mr atal bihari vajpayee in uttar pradesh in lucknow in addition to that recently 
the state government of uttar pradesh announced the annual pension of 6000 rupees per year to the muslim women who have been given triple talaq by their husbands which is the first country to ban sunscreens that are toxic to coral reef and sea life so it is palau so recently palau a small island nation in west pacific ocean imposed a ban on sunscreens that contains the chemicals which affect the coral reef and other aquatic species now this decision was taken few months ago and it became effective from 1st of january now why this decision was taken this decision was taken to protect and conserve rock islands southern lagoon now it is a unesco world heritage site now if we talk about unesco world heritage recently saudi arabia got elected for the first time in the world heritage committee saudi arabia was also in news as it is going to be the host of this year g20 summit apart from that recently saudi arabia became the full fledged member of fatf fatf stands for financial action task force and saudi arabia is the second biggest oil supplier for india iraq is the biggest oil supplier for india which indian city hosts the all india police judo cluster championship 2019 right answer is new delhi so the championship held in new delhi it was inaugurated by minister of state of mha that is ministry of home affairs and he is mr nityanand rai the previous edition of championship was organized by odisha police it should be kept in mind that delhi police is under mha not under delhi government present home minister is mr amit shah and his son mr jay shah recently became the secretary of bcci and recently mr sorov ganguly became the president of bcci the national disaster response force academy is to be established in which city so recently union home minister mr amit shah laid the foundation of national disaster response force academy in nagpur in maharashtra now if we talk about nagpur nagpur is the constituency of mr nitin gadkari and he is the minister of road transport and highways and recently ministry of road transport and highways released a report on road accidents and as per that report tamil nadu was on top in terms of road accidents recently tamil nadu was in news as it became first state of india to enact a law on contract farming apart from that tamil nadu was also in news as government of india decided to set up new rocket launch pad near kulsekhar pattinam in tamil nadu now if we talk about ndrf it is national disaster response force and it is under mha that is ministry of home affairs it is a statutory body under disaster management act of 2005 now there is one more body related to disaster that is national disaster management authority answer in comment box who is a chairperson of ndma ratna ojha who recently passed away was a theater artist and activist of which state right answer is assam he was a well known theater artist and social activist of assam for his contribution towards the theater art he was honored with the natsuriya award by assam government now if we talk about assam assam is going to be the host of this year khelo india youth game apart from that assam was also in news because of abhinandan scheme answer in comment box what is the objective of this scheme in addition to that assam was also in news because of two child norms that means those who have more than two children will not be provided government jobs which indian city is selected to host the global healthcare summit 2021 right answer is visakhapatnam so the 14th edition of global healthcare summit is going to be in visakhapatnam in january 2021 and the 13th edition of this global healthcare summit held in hyderabad in 2019 so visakhapatnam is going to be the host of 14th summit now if we talk about visakhapatnam recently visakhapatnam was in news as the first ever bimstech conclave of ports held in visakhapatnam and visakhapatnam is in andhra pradesh recently andhra pradesh was in news because of disha act now this act provides for the speedy trial and faster execution in the cases of sexual offences against women and recently andhra pradesh state government appointed dr kritika shukla and ips officer m dipika for implementing the 
Disha Act. Apart from that, state of Andhra Pradesh was also in news as recently it announced a scheme to deliver sand at customer's doorstep. This was announced to prevent the sand smuggling in the state. Recently, the Railway Protection Force was renamed by the Ministry of Railways. Now, what is the new name of Railway Protection Force? Right answer is Indian Railway Protection Force Service. So recently, Ministry of Railways granted organized Group A status to Railway Protection Force and it was also renamed as IRPFS. If we talk about railways, recently Mr. VK Yadav was reappointed as the Chairman of Railway Board. Present Rail Minister is Mr. Pius Goel and recently railways was in use as Indian Railways started Himdarshan Express and it is a train on Kalka Simla route. Apart from that, railway was also in news as recently Oxygen Parlour was recently launched at Nasik Railway Station and the objective of this parlour is to combat air pollution. Railways was also in news as recently railway set up Institute for Financial Management in Hyderabad. Which two Indian cities are placed in the list of Hexgen's global top 10 cities for startup funding for 2020? So recently, research agency Hexgen conducted a study of funding patterns in the startup ecosystem. And as per this study, for the first time, two Indian cities, namely Delhi NCR and Bengaluru, were ranked in the global top 10 cities for startup funding list. Which union ministry recently set up a new division called NEST division? NEST stands for New Emerging and Strategic Technologies. Right answer is MEA, that is Ministry of External Affairs. So recently, MEA announced that it would set up a new division and this proposed NEST division would act as a nodal division for addressing the issues related to emerging technologies and associated security issues related to them. Present Minister of External Affairs is Mr. S. J. Sankar. He is our Prime Minister and he is our NSA, that is National Security Advisor, Mr. Ajit Dobhal. Answer in comment box who was the first National Security Advisor and at that point of time who was the Prime Minister of India. Which state recently launched e-gazet portal, a digital platform for gazette publication? Right answer is Odisha. So recently, state government of Odisha launched this portal and this is going to be helpful as it is a platform to release all gazetted notifications in a digital format. Now if we talk about Odisha, recently Odisha was in use as BPCL that is Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited inaugurated LPG bottling plant in Odisha. Apart from that, Odisha was also in use because of Jal Sathi initiative. It is an initiative to provide safe drinking water. In addition to that, Odisha was also in news as the state government decided to set up fast track courts to speed up the cases related to women and children and the state government decided to set up 45 such fast track courts. Apart from that, Odisha was also in news because of National Tribal Craft Mela. This Mela held in Bhuneshwar in Odisha. Who has been appointed as the first chairman of National Medical Commission that is NMC? So right answer is Mr. Suresh Chandra. Sharma. So, Dr. Suresh Chandra Sharma has been appointed as the first chairman of NMC, that is National Medical Commission, and this NMC is going to replace the MCI. MCI stands for Medical Council of India. So, Mr. Suresh Chandra Sharma has been appointed as the new chairman of NMC, and this appointment is approved for a tenure of three years or for the age limit of 70 years. Answer in comment box what is the age limit for post of CDS, that is. Chief of Defence Staff. The Chief Minister of Kerala recently launched K. Rera. The authority is related to which field? Right answer is real estate. So, Rera stands for Real Estate Regulatory Authority. And recently, Kerala Chief Minister Mr. Pindarai Vijayan launched K. Rera to make the real estate sector more transparent. Now, if we talk about Kerala, recently Kerala became the first state in India to pass resolution against. Citizenship Amendment Act. Apart from that, Kerala was also in news as it was on the top position as per Niti Aayog's Sustainable Development Goals India Index 2.0. I have made a special video on this 
topic, you can watch that. Kerala was also in news as recently it made it mandatory for pilot riders to wear helmets. Who is the first and youngest tribal woman in the world to climb six tallest mountain peaks across six continents? Right answer is Malavat Purna. So Ms. Purna is from Telangana and she recently scaled the highest mountain peak of Antarctica. And the highest mountain peak of Antarctica is Mount Vinson Massif. So Ms. Purna is the first and youngest tribal woman in the world to climb six tallest mountain peaks across six continents. She is from Telangana. The academic center of ISRO will be set up in which state of India? Right answer is Karnataka. So the academic center of ISRO that is Indian Space Research Organization will be set up in Karnataka. And recently for this purpose ISRO signed MOU with NIT Karnataka. NIT stands for National Institute of Technology. Now if we talk about ISRO it is Indian Space Research Organization. It is under Department of Space. Present chief is Dr. K. Sivan and the headquarter of ISRO is in Karnataka in Bengaluru. Now if we talk about Karnataka Recently, it was in news because of 107th edition of Indian Science Congress and the theme of this Congress was Science and Technology Rural Development. Apart from that, Karnataka was also in news as recently former Governor of Karnataka, Mr. T. N. Chaturvedi passed away. Karnataka was also in news as it was a top state as per India Innovation Index. Now answer in comment books which organization released this index. Who was recently reappointed as the IG of BSF? BSF stands for Border Security Force and BSF provides security to the Indo-Pakistan and Indo-Bangladesh border. Right answer is Mr. Abhinav Kumar. So the Appointments Committee of Cabinet recently approved the reappointment of Mr. Abhinav Kumar as the IG of BSF. Now if we talk about BSF, it is CAPF that is Central Armed Police Force. It is under Ministry of Home Affairs. And BSF is headed by an IPS officer. BSF provides security to the Indo-Bangladesh and Indo-Pakistan border. Answer in comment box which security force provide security to Indo-Myanmar border. Recently, Supreme Court has asked the central government to consider the deployment of which force for guarding the various courts of India. Right answer is CISF. So recently, Supreme Court has asked central government to consider the deployment of CISF in the courts. Now, till now, local police provides the security to courts. Local police is under state government, while CISF is under MHA. MHA stands for Ministry of Home Affairs. Recently, CISF was also in news as CISF is celebrating 2020 as Year of Mobility. Apart from that, CISF was also in news as recently Union Home Minister Mr. Amit Shah instructed the Director Generals of all paramilitary forces to use Khadi in their uniform. So now CRPF, BSF, ITBP, CISF, NSZ and Assam Rifles are going to wear Khadi uniforms. This will give a boost to the Khadi industry in our country. The present Director General of CISF is Mr. Rajesh Ranjan. On 9th of January 2020, the birth anniversary of Dr. Hargovind Khurana was observed. He won the Nobel Prize in Physiology in which year? So Dr. Hargovind Khurana shared the 1968 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine with Mr. Marshall Nirenberg and Mr. Robert Holly for the research that showed the order of nucleotides in nucleic acid which carry the genetic code and code for the synthesis of protein and in 1972 Dr. Khurana also created the first artificial gene. Now if we talk about Nobel Prize, the Nobel Prize in chemistry, literature, peace, physics and in physiology or medicine were first awarded in 1901 and it should be kept in mind that all Nobel Prizes except Peace Prize are given by Sweden while the Peace Prize is given by Norway. Now Sweden was also in news as recently India is testing a Swedish technology Torrefaction. This is a technology that can be used 
to convert stubble into bio coal we all know that stubble burning is a serious problem in our country and therefore this technology can be a way out for this problem with the help of this technology the waste stubble can be converted into bio coal mr aswani lohani is the head of which airline right answer is air india so mr aswani lohani is the current head of air india if we talk about factual information related to air india it started operations in 1932 the headquarters of air india is in new delhi and the present cmd is mr ashwani lohani now why air india was in news air india was in news as recently a group of ministers approved the proposal to divest stake in the air india now answer in comment box what is the difference between disinvestment and privatization and there is one more term strategic disinvestment this is your homework now coming back to air india so this group of ministers approved the proposal of disinvestment now this group of minister is headed by union home minister mr amit shah and this group of minister approved the proposal on the debt transfer from air india to spv that is special purpose vehicle now recently air india was in news because of certain other facts recently air india became the first airline to use taxi boat apart from that recently air india was in news as it had the first flight over north pole from delhi to san francisco what is india's projected growth rate as per the first advance estimates of gdp growth for 2019-20 so recently the government released the first advanced estimate of gdp growth expectations and as per the government data the economy is going to grow at 5% now this is a massive downgrade from the projected economic growth by economic survey as per the economic survey the expected economic growth was approximately 7% but as per the government data it is going to be around 5% and last year the growth was around 6.8% so there is a downgrade in the growth now if we talk about gdp it is gross domestic product so it is in simplest term it is the money value of all the final goods and services produced in the domestic that means within india in a year so it is the gross value of all the goods and all the services produced within the domestic boundary of country in a year now this is gdp if gdp is calculated at prevalent prices that means current prices it is gdp at current prices and if gdp is estimated on the basis of some fixed prices of past then it is gdp at constant prices now let me ask you a simple question in which case gdp is going to be higher means gdp at current price or gdp at constant price according to imd the arabian sea on india's west coast so approximately 400% rise in cyclones and this is a record which is repeated only after 1902 now what are those five cyclones that hit the arabian sea in 2019 right answer is wayu hikka kyar maha and pawan so this is arabian sea and this is bay of bengal now recently imd that is India Meteorological Department released a report and as per that report the cyclones in Arabian Sea saw a 400% rise than the normal frequency usually the west coast of India normally undergoes only one cyclone annually but this time there was a increment these are the five cyclones that hit the Arabian Sea in 2019 now it should be kept in mind that the bay of bengal which is usually more cyclone prone coast of india as compared to western side had three cyclones this year and these three cyclones are pabuk poni and bulbul now if we talk about imd it is india meteorological department the headquarters of imd is in new delhi and it was founded in 1875 the present dg of imd is dr mrutunjay mohpatra and imd is under ministry of earth sciences if we talk about ministry of earth sciences recently ministry launched rad 
atlas map now this map was prepared by ministry of earth sciences to help tamil nadu government in the effective flood mitigation in chennai apart from that the ministry of earth sciences was also in news as recently it launched gemini device now this device will disseminate information about the emergency situations on disaster warnings to the fishermen usually when fishermen go for fishing the mobile doesn't work there why because there is no tower and that's why they do not get information about any upcoming disaster or any cyclone or any tsunami so that's why this device has been launched and this is connected to india's gps navigation system so this is going to send information to fishermen during the disasters now the full form of this gemini is gagan enabled mariners instrument for navigation and information now if we talk about gagan it is gps aided geo augmentation navigation gps stands for global positioning system so it is a step by india towards satellite based navigation services in our country election commission recently declared 8th february as the date of assembly elections in delhi now the question is what is the total number of seats in delhi legislative assembly so there are 70 seats and recently election commission announced the date of elections in delhi so elections are going to be on 8th of february and counting will be on 11th of february now for delhi elections voter slips will have qr code for the faster verification and identification apart from that if we talk about election commission it is a constitutional body and article 324 of the constitution contains the provision for establishment of election commission of india now it was formed on 25th of january in 1950 and that's why 25th of january is celebrated as national voters day now election commission was also in news as recently it launched a ppr tms ppr tms stands for political parties registration tracking management system so this will be helpful for the political parties to track the status of their application apart from that election commission of india was also in news as election commission of india is going to establish a visiting chair in the memory of former chief election commissioner mr t n session mr session passed away recently if we talk about present chief election commissioner he is mr sunil arora and other two election commissioners are mr ashok lavasa and mr susil chandra the northeast natural gas pipeline grid is being implemented by joint venture of five indian central public sector undertakings now the question is what is the name of this joint venture firm right answer is iggl that is indra dhanush gas grid limited so northeast gas grid is a project that is implemented by iggl and it is a joint venture of five central psu these five psus are gale iocl ongc oil and nrl and it will cover the eight states of northeast region that means arunachal pradesh assam manipur nagaland mizoram sikkim and tripura now northeast region was also in news because of caa this citizenship amendment act will not be applicable to the areas of 6th schedule as well as areas under ilp ilp stands for inner line permit now if we talk about areas under 6th schedule four states are under 6th schedule these are atmm that is assam tripura mizoram and meghalaya it should be kept in mind that manipur is not a part of 6th schedule on the other hand ilp is inner line permit and recently manipur was brought under ilp so total four states are under ilp now and all these four states the, this is an easy trick to remember this that all these four states share border boundary with myanmar so these states are arunachal pradesh nagaland manipur and mizoram now coming back to the caa recently kerala became the first state to pass a resolution against caa A special video related to CAA has already been uploaded you can watch that the recently approved mineral laws amendment ordinance has done away with so called captive and use criteria of which natural resource 
right answer is coal captive you and use means this can be used for only specific purpose so recently union cabinet approved this mineral laws amendment ordinance and this ordinance will amend mines and minerals development and regulation act that is mmdra this act is an act of 1957 in addition to that this ordinance is also going to amend coal mines special provisions act of 2015 and this ordinance will ease rules for auctioning of coal mines and it will open up to all sectors that means it has done away with the captive and use criteria previously it was a criteria that if you are going to use coal for the specific purpose then only you will be allocated a coal block however now this criteria has been done away with now coming back to coal recently for the sustainable coal mining the ministry of coal decided to establish sustainable development cell apart from that recently coal ministry was also in news as recently prakash portal was launched answer in comment box what is the objective of this prakash portal this portal has been developed by ntpc for how many times india has emerged as winner in the malaysia masters badminton tournament since it began in 2009 right answer is 3 so india has emerged winner in the malaysia masters badminton tournament for three times since its inception in 2009 so ms pv sindhu won it in 2013 and in 2016 while ms saina nehwal won it in 2017 now why this thing was in news it was in news because this year b sai pranit has been knocked out from the tournament now if we talk about malaysia the capital of malaysia is kuala lumpur and recently malaysia was in news as the last surviving sumatran rhino in malaysia died and with this sumatran rhinos became extinct in malaysia the name of the sumatran rhino was iman apart from that recently world's oldest rhino died in tanzania and the name of this rhino was fosta tanzania is a african country now coming back to malaysia malaysia was also in news as it has reported the first case of polio in last 27 years apart from that malaysia was also in news as pakistan turkey and malaysia decided to jointly launch islamic tv channel malaysia was also in news as last year it joined icc icc stands for international criminal court it is backed by rome statute it should be kept in mind that india is not a party of icc recently the government of india has issued revised guidelines for mutual legal assistance in criminal matters with other nations at present that means as of january 2020 india has mutual legal assistance treaties with how many countries right answer is 42 so india has mutual legal assistance treaties with 42 countries now it should be kept in mind that for this purpose mha is the central designated authority and recently the guidelines related to mutual legal assistance treaty was revised and that's why this thing was in news now if we talk about mutual legal assistance treaty it is an agreement between two or more countries for the purpose of gathering and exchanging information to enforce civil or criminal laws as the name suggests both countries are going to mutually assist each other in the legal issues january 9 is celebrated as the pravasi bhartiya divas every year in which year mahatma gandhi ji returned from south africa to india on this date that means on 9th of january gandhi ji returned from south africa to india and that's why pravasi bhartiya divas is celebrated so gandhi ji returned to india in 1915 and that's why pravasi bhartiya divas event is organized and it is organized by ministry of external affairs and it is organized every year since 2003 So 2020 was the 16th Pravasi Bharati Divas. If we talk about MEA, present minister is Dr. S. Jay Shankar, and present foreign secretary is Mr. V. K. Gokhale. Recently, next foreign secretary was announced, and Mr. Harsh Vardhan Sringla is going to be the next foreign secretary. Web-based portal called Parivesh 
is associated to which Indian ministry? So it is associated to Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Present minister is Mr. Prakash Javadeka and this is a portal for submitting the request for environmental clearances. Now if we talk about few other portals which were in news recently, recently Rajasthan launched Jan Suchana portal. This portal aims to provide information to the citizens about the government initiatives. Apart from that, recently Uttar Pradesh government launched a web portal and app. It is eGanna app and portal and this is for sugarcane farmers. Apart from that, UP was also in news as India's first transgender university will be in UP in Kushinagar. In addition to that, recently one more portal was in news. It is Kartavya portal and this is a portal by MHRD that is Ministry of Human Resource Development. Present minister is Mr. Ramesh Nishank and MHRD launched this portal for holding monthly essay competitions for students. Which bank has recently announced the residential builder finance with buyer guarantee scheme? Right answer is State Bank of India. So recently State Bank of India has announced a residential builder finance with buyer guarantee scheme. This scheme aims to provide a push to residential sales and improve home buyers confidence. Now under the scheme, SBI will issue a guarantee for completion of selected residential projects and this guarantee will be issued to those customers who have availed home loans from SBI. So the scheme will focus on affordable housing projects priced up to 2.50 crore rupees and it is limited to 10 cities initially. So this residential building finance with buyer guarantee scheme is a scheme of State Bank of India and State Bank of India is the first bank in India to launch green car loan and recently Shanghai branch of SBI became the first bank of India to be connected with China's NAPS. NAPS stands for National Advanced Payment System. Madhapur Mela is famous attraction of which state of India. So it is a famous Mela of Gujarat and this year eight states of Northeast are going to participate in this Mela. Now if we talk about Gujarat, recently Gujarat was in news as KVIC launched first silk processing plant at Surendranagar district in Gujarat and this will help in the faster production of Patola Saris. Gujarat was also in news as India's first maritime museum is going to be in Lothal in Gujarat. In addition to that, recently the Chief Minister of Gujarat Mr. Vijay Rupani inaugurated second tallest statue of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. The first statue of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, the tallest statue of Sardar Vallabhai Patel is in Narmada district of Gujarat. How many routes have been identified by Niti Aayog and Indian Railways towards running private trains in India? Right answer is 100. So recently Niti Aayog and Indian Railways have released a discussion paper for running 150 trains on 100 routes by private operators. So total 100 routes have been selected by Niti Aayog and Indian Railways for private trains. Now if we talk about Niti Aayog, recently Niti Aayog was in news because of few reports. Recently Niti Aayog released School Education Quality Index, Kerala is on top position and Uttar Pradesh is the worst performer in the big states as per this School Education Quality Index. Apart from that Niti Aayog was also in news because of India Innovation Index and this was the first index and as per this index Karnataka is on top position. Apart from that Niti Aayog was also in news as recently it released the second edition of SDG India Index. SDG stands for Sustainable Development Goals and this was the second edition and it was based on 16 out of 17 SDG. And as per this index, Kerala is on top in terms of big states while Kerala is followed by Himachal Pradesh. Bihar is the worst performer as per this SDG index. Now I have uploaded a special video on SDG India Index. You can watch that. Which country has recently proposed a global electricity grid? Right answer is India. So recently Prime Minister Mr. Modi mooted an idea of global electricity grid. So this grid plans to leverage solar power generated in one country and this can be utilized by the electricity demands of other nations. 
so india is in talks with world bank for the implementation of this global electricity grid so a grid will be connected between different countries and the surplus solar power from one country can be utilized by other country with the help of this grid according to an statement of lok sabha speaker mr om birla in which year india will hold its parliament session in new parliament building right answer is 2022 so as per the statement of lok sabha speaker india will hold its parliament session in new parliament building in 2022 and 2022 is special for us because india will complete 75 years of independence in 2022 in that year india is going to be the host of g20 summit apart from that india will also host the conference of interpol interpol stands for international police cbi represents india in interpol now if we talk about lok sabha speaker mr om birla he is present speaker of lok sabha and his constituency is kota bundi in rajasthan and recently rajasthan was in news as first janta clinic of rajasthan was launched in jaipur with which european country india has signed mobility pact that would allow skilled workers students and academics from two countries to live and work in each other countries right answer is france so recently indian cabinet approved the mobility pact with france and it would allow skilled workers students and academics from two countries to live and work in each other's country this agreement was signed between these two countries during the visit of french president Mr Emmanuel Macron to India in 2018 now it should be kept in mind that France is yet to ratify this pact now if we talk about France France was the host of G7 summit in 2019 and this year that means in 2020 USA is going to be the host of G7 summit USA was also in news because of space force as recently US president Mr Donald Trump gave approval for the establishment of space force USA was also in news as recently military commander of Iran General Qasem Soleimani was killed in US air strikes near Baghdad airport if we talk about Iran capital of Iran is Tehran and recently Iran was in news as Iran announced that it is no longer going to follow the limits set by JCPOA JCPOA is a nuclear deal between Iran and P5+1 P5 stands for permanent members of united nations security council and one stands for germany the full form of jcpa is joint comprehensive plan of action currently india charges what fraction of agr that is adjusted gross revenues as license fee from telecom operators right answer is 8% so india levies license fees of 8% of agr from telecom license holder Now what exactly is this AGR AGR is the spectrum usage charges and it is the licensing fees that telecom operators are charged by department of telecommunications so telecom companies need to pay this fee to the department of telecommunications for using the spectrum which city is to host the annual world economic forum right answer is davos so world economic forum held annually at davos if we talk about davos it is in switzerland if we talk about world economic forum it was established in 1971 it is not for profit organization and the headquarter of world economic forum is in geneva in switzerland now recently world economic forum was also in news because of gender gap report as per this report india is on 11 second position while bangladesh is on 50th position and it is the top performing country in the south asian region this gender gap report is prepared on the four indicators these are political participation economic participation education and health now it should be kept in mind india is performing well in case of political participation however in case of economic participation and health india is worse performer so these were the important questions thank you and that's all for the day